We might be en route to get some new family members for the homestead. Are you tired of my shenanigans? No. Keep you updated, guys. Good morning, guys. I didn't really video enough last night. And by the time we got home, it was late, so I figured I would update you guys this morning. Uh, we didn't even take them out of the truck, but look at those little cuties. Okay, I know I'm calling them cute, but they're totally going to serve a purpose on this homestead. <laughs> they're like, what is going on? Look. So, just woke up the hubby. I'm a little bit of an earlier riser than he is, but uh, he's up. He's just, I get up and get out of bed and have to sit quietly and drink my coffee. He just gets up and sits in the bed for a while. So I know these, these poor birds are itching to get back to normal, but you guys, it's such a cool setup that uh, we drove two hours. My husband, it was, it was kind of a joke that everything I find here in Michigan is like two hours away. I feel like every time we have to drive somewhere to get something, uh, we have to drive two hours, at least. So anyway, I'm so excited. Uh, I was I was considering adding quail next year, um, just from what I've heard about it. Um, you know, the eggs are amazing. I'm actually probably going to try. That's probably a whole nother topic, but as a homesteader, as this dream unravels, I really have to learn to eat things outside of meat, like, like chickens and cows. Like I need to eat other things like that you raise on your homestead. So that's the plan is to, to do that. My brother-in-law, uh, he actually helped sponsor this <laughs> because he wants a lifetime supply of pickled quail eggs. So a lifetime supply of pickled quail eggs he will get. Um, anyways, so I was going to add these next year, but with the deal that I got, like it was a full setup. I just like, I couldn't, I couldn't turn it down. So anyways, here we are. I'm gonna start at least undoing these straps, getting ready for hubby. I won't have time to like reassemble this today, but I at least need to get them out of here, get them some food and water, um, run to the tractor supply or something and get them a bag of sand for their dust baths and stuff. So anyway, I'm excited. Stay tuned. I will piece together some footage or maybe I'll probably just do a couple videos because I don't want to make them too long. I wish one of the males would crow. It's the cutest sound ever. Like, it's super cute. Okay, stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys, just a little update. So, we got it in here. Put the legs on the wrong side. They're supposed to be actually on the fronts and backs when we put them on the ends, but I think it'll work. Still need to level the ground. Um, doing this with children Homesteaders with children, I salute you because uh, it's been it's been a, it's it's been a circus. The quail can actually fit through the fence, just so you know, for informational purposes. How do I know? Because we lost a couple. I mean, I caught them, but um, they're they are really good at like getting out of your hands. Um, so it was funny because we were I was taking some out of this small box and I was putting them in this. It's actually like the brooder. But I want to be able to incorporate the babies. And I read that you you kind of take them out of their habitat and put them in a bin or a tote or something. I just happen to have this from the setup. Um, and it disorients them a little. And then you can put them all together back in their house. house. So that's what I'm going to try to do to get the babies that were in that cage into the actual hutch. And Vivi needs out of the pig pen. So I guess we'll stay tuned. I think we're almost all settled. So, just to tell you a little bit about how this morning went. 
we had to actually like open up a fence panel because it wouldn't fit through the door. So we open up a fence panel. <laughs> Silly me, I put the two-year-old in charge of making sure the chickens don't get out, right? So me and Boyd and Phil were carrying this in and putting it together and Vivi says, the chickens are out. Um, I can't let them. You got, you got something to say this morning, Olaf? Huh? Let me hear it. Well, now we've heard from the boss. Anyways, I can't let the chickens free range like all day long because uh, now uh, our dog is on a leash, but uh, Boyd and Whitney's dogs, Tyson and Cleo, they, they're really good about staying in the yard, but they will no doubt chase the chicken chickens. So that was quite an escapade to get 12 chickens and a rooster back in. Um, yeah, it's been a fun morning. It's only 9 a.m. <laughs> so life on the homestead, right? These guys are going to go and I should probably go get some laundry done. So I have something. We have some birthday parties to go to today. And then um, I have so much to share with you guys this week. I really need to get in the habit of remembering to film all the time or at least when to film right so i've just about got these guys all settled um probably another hour or so i can put these guys back up here with the babies um so yeah i'll probably touch base when we do that and then we'll wrap that up good morning you guys why am I so bad at getting a video done? This is the third day. Well, let me see, we went Friday night to get these and it's Sunday morning. But look how cute these little things are. Aren't they just the cutest little things? So, I'm gonna give you a little better setup or better view of their um, setup and then show you around. Okay. This is one pen, so I have to go get them some sand. That's their dust bath box. Uh, the people that built this, I just love how they engineered it. These are the feeders, they just slide out. This is the water tank and it goes over to the other side actually. And there's a hose at the top where it feeds. It, I just think it's so cool. Um, so this is the one I introduced the babies into yesterday and they did really well. Um, I'll talk about that in just a second, about how you can do that. And then here's these babies. Oh, not babies, they're, I think they're six or eight months old. I don't remember now, I'll have to look at the messages from her. But, and they, they have like an outside and an inside they can all go to. So that's super cool. I probably will put little padlocks on here just because there's just too many kids around here. And then this is the top one with the adults. So this is like a super cool setup. And then it just all falls down that piece. Um, but yeah, let me show you these guys real, real quick. These are the older ones, the adults. Oh, look, there's an egg. Yesterday I got a couple of uh, like solid white eggs and water thing out I forgot I left the bucket that she had she had a really nice bucket set up so I'll have to get another one but anyways yesterday I got um like a couple of white eggs when I got the first one I actually asked her I was like is this normal and she said she's only ever gotten like two white eggs and I got three just yesterday so I'm assuming it's the stress that they were under with the moving and stuff um so there was probably like they're mad they're mad at me for all i put them through and they're like no spots for you lady um so anyways i watched a few videos and read a few articles on how to properly introduce baby quail into a new flock because they can get quite aggressive and they said 
if you take them out, and I might have already said this, see what happens when you record over three days. Anyways, they said if you take them out of their their habitat or their hutch, whatever, and put them in a bin or a tote or something, I actually just put them in the that brooder box that I had that came with my setup. Um, take them out of there for a couple hours. It kind of disorients them, and then you just put them all back together, and they do okay. So that's what I did. It was, I probably, by the time it was all said and done, they were probably in there for three, four hours. Um, but they seem to be doing great. Like, I, I don't, I've been watching them. I don't notice any aggression. Like, they're all still alive. That's, that's a plus to me. Um, so nobody seems to have any injuries or anything like that. So anyways, I just wanted to, like, do one final snippet to say, you know, like to show you guys the setup and show you everything that was finished and say thanks for like hanging out. It, hopefully this video doesn't end up too long by the time it's said and done. And I got to get the rest of these morning chores done. So I'll talk to you guys later.